I give you Enoch. The film Mind Gamers is set in a world where students create a wireless neural network that can link people's minds through a quantum computer. It allows people to transfer motor skills from one brain to another, but also opens the door for mass mind control. In the real world, research towards brain-computer interface is underway. The most fundamental good is restoration of function for people who have limited capabilities. If it's, um, let's say, a paraplegic who can't move, allowing them to walk again. Tim Mullen says his company, Cusp Neural Technologies, is working to create a cloud-based platform to digitally link a person to the cloud, and from there to any internet-connected device such as this multiplayer brain-controlled game. Mullen says a type of mediated telepathy or brain-to-brain -brain communication may also be in the horizon. Currently we can do this in rats, uh, sensory motor cortices. Uh, first experiments in humans have been demonstrated in a very limited way and that in the coming decades we'll actually be able to have brain-to-brain -brain communication between humans. Writer and producer of Mind Gamers Joanne Ray sees the benefits of connecting brains to the cloud as a mass collective that changes human behavior. The need of the ego to put oneself first is redundant in our society and that would be a benefit if that could just fall away like a monkey tail. This rosy picture, yes we can get there, but in doing so we will enable this, this whole other dark side and we need to plan for it and we need to have some mitigating strategies for it. University of Southern California's Todd Richmond works with emerging disruptive technologies. He warns internet hacking and other criminal behaviors will be magnified as scientists pursue certain types of innovation. Part of the challenge is that a lot of the innovation right now is driven by the commercial sector. And in that case, their focus is on profitability and getting a new product out there, getting a new capability, the new shiny object that they want to excite the consumer to buy. So for them, moral and ethical repercussions are not necessarily part of their development process. Science is a process of being on the edge. You don't know what the outcome is going to be of the technology you're building. You don't know how it will be used. The responsibility lies on society to use that technology for good. We aren't perfect and we will make mistakes and the people who are designing the tech have to have the right mindset or they can take us in a direction we don't want to go. Spark it up. Through Mind Gamers, filmmakers present one possible direction this technology can go. Scientists will soon be able to tell how audiences respond when 1,000 people watch the film wearing cognition headbands. This mass mind state experiment will be possible with the help of cloud technology. I will connect you all to not fear it. Elizabeth Lee, VOA News, Los Angeles. Wow.